The dark comedy TV show MASH originated from a book entitled MASH, a novel about three army doctors, which was published in 1968 by Richard Hooker. Readers were fascinated by the book, and before long it was turned into a film, entitled MASH. While the film was met with glowing reviews, its sequel, MASH Goes to Maine, was a disaster. Still, the creators of the film saw great potential and decided instead to convert the film into a TV series. The first episode aired September 17, 1972, and the show ran until February 28, 1983 for a total of 11 seasons and 256 episodes. It follows the members of the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, which was stationed in Korea during the Korean War. While the show centered around the character of Hawkeye Pierce, the ensemble cast brought life and emotion to the show. It was originally marketed as a comedy, but it had a very serious tone at times. Because the show aired during the highly controversial Vietnam War, viewers couldn't help but draw comparisons to the war in the show and the war going on in real life. The actors and creators of the show were sensitive about the topic and kept the tone properly grave when needed. A big reason of what made MASH so popular was its amazing cast. The talented actors of the show were able to bring it to life, as well as perfectly walk the line between comedy and drama. Sadly, because MASH aired some time ago, not all the amazing cast members are still alive today. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the former cast members of MASH that you probably didn't know died. Stick around until the end because we're also going to reveal how Wayne Roger, the actor behind the character Trapper John McIntyre, passed away. McLean Stevenson McLean Stevenson played lovable Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake, a talented doctor who unfortunately was horrible at being in charge. Fans were stricken by the character's death in his final episode, Abyssinia Henry. While McLean Stevenson was no doubt sad to leave behind such a wonderful cast and crew, he was also excited about the new opportunities it granted. He was secretly hoping to leave his ensemble role and find lead roles of his own. Sadly, after spending years of his career in various pilot episodes and short sitcoms, he was never able to find a role quite as successful as his role in M.A.S.H. Tragically, in 1996, McLean Stevenson died of a heart attack, without ever accomplishing his dream of becoming a lead actor. Wayne Rogers as Trapper John McIntyre Trapper John McIntyre was an integral part of the early seasons of M.A.S.H. His role as Hawkeye's funny best friend, however, made it difficult for the actor, Wayne Rogers, to develop the character any further. After a few seasons, he decided to bow out and search for work elsewhere. He was lucky enough to star in the series House Calls and also made lots of appearances in other shows and films. In 2015, however, he died of pneumonia at 82. Former castmate Alan Alda remembered him fondly on Twitter. We made a pact to give MASH all we had and it bonded us. I loved Wayne. I'll miss him very much. Harry Morgan Harry Morgan first appeared on MASH playing the character General Steele, who only made an appearance in a single episode, called The General Flipped at Dawn. That particular episode became legendary as probably the most hilarious episode of the show. The show's creators were so impressed by Harry Morgan's acting ability, they wanted him to come back. One creator even explained he was the funniest actor of the entire cast. He was brought back to play the role of Colonel Sherman Potter and stayed on the show from season 4 to the end. After M.A.S.H., Harry Morgan went on to act for a very long time, appearing in shows like The Simpsons and Murder, She Wrote. However, out of all his acting experiences, his time on M.A.S.H. would forever remain Morgan's favorite. He lived a long life until his eventual death at age 96 from pneumonia. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because we're going to reveal which M.A.S.H. actor lived his life carrying a serious secret, which he revealed just years before his death. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Larry Linville Larry Linville played Frank Burns, the most insufferable character on M.A.S.H. He was created as sort of an antagonist who was both stuck up, incompetent, and bigoted. His colleagues, however, were always quick to point out that while Frank Burns was a truly horrible character, the actor behind him was actually down-to-earth and kind. Frank Burns was eventually written off the show. His character was simply too detestable to have an arc of growth or change, and Larry Linville decided that after season 5 it was time to step down. He was remembered fondly for his work on M.A.S.H., and was asked to guest star in a wide variety of popular shows, including Murder, She Wrote and The Love Boat. 
Sadly, Larry Linville died in 2000 after contracting pneumonia during a long and difficult battle with cancer. William Christopher William Christopher played the mild, kind-hearted Father Francis Mulcahy. While he did have the role of the chaplain at the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, his character was filled with depth and even great humor. However, Christopher's time playing such an iconic priest meant he was often typecast throughout his career. After MASH, he most frequently played priests. In fact, his final role as an actor was on the show Days of Our Lives, where he played Father Tobias. His death in 2012 was due to small cell carcinoma, and his former castmates were struck with grief at the loss. They all discussed how the gentle, compassionate character of Father Francis Mulcahy wasn't an act in the slightest. William Christopher was very much like the character in real life. David Ogden Steers David Ogden Steers played the character Major Charles Emerson Winchester III, an arrogant but talented surgeon who was constantly butting heads with the lead character Hawkeye Pierce. The character of Major Charles Emerson Winchester III was a replacement for the departed character Frank Burns, but Steers brought nuance and depth to his character. While Steers is well known for his work in M.A.S.H., his career spans even further. Not only was he an amazingly skilled conductor, but he was also a famous voice actor for Disney. He voiced roles in films like Lilo and Stitch, Beauty and the Beast, and Pocahontas. However, throughout his career, Steers was hiding a serious secret. He was a closeted gay man, and he was terrified of coming out. He was afraid that, should the rest of the public become aware of his sexuality, he'd lose his job at Disney. It wasn't until 2009 that he finally decided to come out, explaining he didn't want to live the rest of his days hiding his true identity. He was met with great support and lived the rest of his days in peace. Sadly, in 2018, he died of bladder cancer. But actor Alan Alda, who famously played Hawkeye Pierce, remembered him fondly for his gentle and kind nature. Sadly, many of the original actors from M.A.S.H. have passed away. Were you more surprised to learn that the actor behind Frank Burns was actually much kinder in real life, or that David Ogden Steers was secretly gay? Let us know in the comments section below. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.